New tonight, President Joe Biden is renewing his call for a national assault weapons ban after the deadly mass shooting at a private school in Tennessee. It's a common sense issue. We have to act now. People say, why do I keep saying this if it's not happening? Because I want you to know who isn't doing it, who isn't helping to put pressure on them. Authorities say the suspect was a former student, 28-year-old Audrey Hale, who was born female but identified as transgender. New surveillance video shows Hale shooting through the locked doors of the school, then moving through the halls in what police call a pre-planned attack. Hale was heavily armed with an AR-style rifle, handgun, and detailed maps of the school. One of her former 8th grade teammates says she sent her a message Monday stating something bad is about to happen. I'm speechless. Like, I'm just trying to wrap all of this around. Like, it just don't make sense. According to police, Hale's parents said she was being treated for an emotional disorder and was under a doctor's care. But still, she was able to legally buy seven guns from five local stores, three of which were used in the shooting rampage. So I again call on Congress to pass the assault weapons ban. Pass it. This should not be a partisan issue. It all comes as people from across the nation and right here in the capital city held the annual March for Our Lives rally just days ago last Friday. Organizers acknowledge that California has some of the strictest gun laws in the nation, but say more work needs to be done. They're pushing for the passage of Senate Bill 2 here in California. It would set stricter concealed carry requirements. And this is something that's really important because we want folks who are gun owners um, and also who are going to potentially conceal carry in public to be responsible gun owners um, and to also be held to a very high standard. You know, we have to do more to stop this gun violence of ripping communities apart, and ripping apart the soul of this nation, to protect our children so they learn how to read and write instead of duck and cover in a classroom. Meanwhile, the community mourns the loss of the three children and three adults. Evelyn Dickhouse, William Kinney, and Haley Scruggs, all nine years old. 61-year-old substitute teacher Cynthia Peake and custodian Mike Hill also were shot and killed, as well as 60-year-old Katherine Kuntz, the head of the school. Our thoughts are with their families tonight.